And welcome to the City of Savannah sign unveiling for the new neighborhood sign here in Pine Gardens. I'm Michelle Gavin, the City's Director of Public Communications. The Pine Gardens neighborhood is bordered by Pennsylvania Avenue, President Street, and Capitol Street. The construction of these neighborhood signs aligns with the City of Savannah's strategic plan, Savannah Forward, under the priority of neighborhood revitalization. These signs are a sense of pride for the people who live here. It is my pleasure to welcome some special guests who we have with us today, including City of Savannah Mayor Eddie DeLoach, District 3 Alderman John Hall. We are in his district right now. Also, would like to welcome Neighborhood Association President Tanya Boyd, who is behind me. Also, we have our Chief Infrastructure and Development Officer, Heath Lloyd, as well as representatives from Savannah Police Department and Capital Improvement Projects Manager, Doug Patton, who is also with us. At this time, I'd like to just turn it over to the mayor for a brief welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Another great day in the city of Savannah. I just want to touch base with everyone and tell you this is the reason or this is how our government works in the city of Savannah. We basically work through neighborhood associations and neighborhoods. So it's important to us that we identify all those places and make sure that not only do we know where they are, but the folks that live in them uh, realize that we do find them. Each neighborhood that we deal with is, is important to the overall whole of our community. So glad to be here. Look forward to unveiling a new sign. We've got more to come, and we're looking forward to moving Savannah forward. Thank y'all. It is now my pleasure to introduce District 3 Alderman John Hall. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I certainly would like to thank everyone for coming out this morning. Uh, thank you, staff, for arranging this today. I want to thank uh, our school board representative from this district, Ms. Connie Hall, who negotiated with her colleagues at the Chatham County School Board to grant us permission to erect this sign on school board property. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good partnerships. Good partnerships between the school board and the city. We like that. We like that. And uh, I'd like to recognize Ms. Patricia Jenkins, a longtime resident of this neighborhood. But she left us and went to Wilmington Island, but she stays in contact. Uh, former President Daisy Harrison, who is unable to be here this morning. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, vice president of the organization here with us also. Uh, Pine Gardens neighborhood was listed on the National Register of Historic Places on August 5th, 2015. The neighborhood is significant because it is the largest, most intact, concentration of World War II defense industry housing in the state of Georgia. Pine Gardens Historic District is significant for its excellent examples of the American small house, a type of house that was popular in the 1930s and the 1940s in Georgia. Notably, it was the Pine Gardens Neighborhood Association that took the lead in sponsoring the nomination for the historic district status. Achieving this federal designation is no easy task and requires countless hours of research and documentations and meetings. The Neighborhood Association should be commended for its efforts and initiative for preserving this community and its history for future generations. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to welcome the current Neighborhood Association President, Tanya Boyd. Good morning, everyone. And 
I just want to thank the mayor, Alderman John Hall, um, our former president of Pine Garden Neighborhood, Daisy Harrison, and everybody in their prospective places for coming out this morning. This is a really excited moment because we fought so hard to get this signed. Um, a lot of residents in this area just know this area as East Savannah, but to have this sign put up, it identifies where these residents, residents live and to also know that it's a historic, it's listed in the National Registry of Historic Places, that, that's really exciting to me to know that. But um, I'm not going to take up too much time. I just want to say thank you, everyone. And I, I appreciate for making this happen. It's just like we're looking for more improvements in this area, the Pine God neighborhood area. So thank everyone. Y'all have a good day. Oh, and also we have a neighborhood picnic, the Pine God Neighborhood Association. In reference of this moment, we are having a Pine God neighborhood picnic for everyone is welcome right over here behind me in the grass area between Greenwood and Capitol Street. Um, we have music, food, fun and games, and we just want to show that as an appreciation from the neighborhood that we thank everyone for making this day happen. Thank you. In just a moment, we'll gather behind the sign to unveil the new neighborhood sign. We'd ask the residents of Pine Gardens and former residents to join the mayor and Alderman Hall behind us to unveil the sign. Before we go to that, I just want to let you know that um, this video from today's event will be posted on the City of Savannah's Facebook page later today. And I um, also wanted to explain the, the lack of news coverage is because a lot of the news stations have sent their crews to South Carolina and North Carolina to cover the hurricane um, impacts that are headed this way. So we are going to be sharing our video with all the news stations. So hopefully you'll also see it on the news tonight. But just wanted to explain they've diverted a lot of their crews to uh, hurricane coverage in the Carolinas. So at this time, if you wouldn't mind gathering behind the sign and we will unveil. Let's get a picture right here with the... Uh... I was really proud of that one. The park groundbreaking. Did you finish the mission?